Do you recognize your Messiah when he comes to you? Luke 24 says, were not our hearts burning within us when he spoke? During a crisis, I went to my first healing mass. I sat down and began to weep uncontrollably. Deacon Armandanus spoke Luke 20 in a booming voice. Woman, why are you weeping? And Mary answers, because they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where to find him. I was undone. The Holy Spirit fell. I went up at the end of the Mass for the laying on of hands and a blue light went through me, electricity and a blue light. That was the beginning of my healing. Like Deacon Armin says, there's always more. How big is your God? Heavenly Father, we come before you this day. You sent your Son to save us from fallen nature. We are sorry for choosing other things while you are waiting to fulfill us. It's not what we do, but who you are that we need to connect with this day and forever in your glory. We do not have to wait for that. We can enter into the Holy of Holies now and forever. I think by now anybody that's keeping up with the street gospel uh, already understands that the kingdom of God is a supernatural realm. The Bible is a matrix and the more you dig into the Word of God, the more you understand the kingdom. When I read these scriptures for this Sunday, everything is alluding to the supernatural realm. When Jesus mystic body disappears after talking to the two men. They go back and they meet the other apostles and they say, oh yes, but Jesus has already appeared to Simon Peter. There is no way that Jesus could be 11 kilometers away and appear to Simon Peter at the same time. The supernatural realm is the kingdom of God and we're invited to walk in that spot right now. The New Testament actually begins with the book of Acts and we're to be living Acts 29. It's not to end, it's to keep on going. We're walking in the kingdom right now. We're living that supernatural life. My family right now is living in divine favor and we have been for probably 10 years but it didn't come it wasn't a trick there was no no magic key it's a total surrender to Jesus and letting him be the boss and when you do that the Holy Spirit just takes charge and everything falls into place the struggle's over